All right, so I thought we'd do a video covering something here that uh, usually isn't brought up in the audio industry really too much, but it's the use of AA batteries. But also the AA batteries are also found in a lot of the uh, wireless in-ear systems as well as uh, if you've got like a wireless system for your guitar for wireless instruments and also uh, AA's go into labeling um, little labeling devices like that so um, now batteries can discussing batteries can be boring so hopefully um, it doesn't go that route but uh, there really is an importance with uh, batteries um, whether it be you're using lithium ion, you're using uh, the primary, or like uh, the alkaline batteries, or if you're using rechargeable batteries. Okay, so what we're going to be talking about really is the uh, alkaline batteries, which I think a lot of people use, and we're talking about the uh, rechargeable batteries. Uh, if you haven't used a rechargeable battery in maybe 10 or 15 years, uh, you need to revisit those types of batteries. Uh, there's been huge improvements in them. There's a lot of batteries that are available and uh, we use them for some of the stuff around here. Uh, we've had really great luck. Okay, so on the batteries, why is all this stuff important? Well, uh, the alkaline batteries I think that a lot of people use in uh, microphones and as I said, the in-ear monitors and other things. The alkaline batteries are okay. Uh, probably some of the best batteries to use are the lithium ions. However, these are very expensive. Uh, the alkalines are 1.5 volts. The uh, lithium ions are also 1.5 volts. Uh, most all the equipment, the uh, microphones and such, are, are all looking for 1.5 volts. Now, the difference here is the that out of the way. The difference here is that the rechargeable batteries, when you start looking at those, rechargeable batteries are only 1.2 volts. But the alkaline batteries, <clears throat> they're, they're alkaline because of the chemistry that's in them. And with the chemistry that makes up this battery, the alkaline batteries, they can produce 1.5 volts. Now with rechargeable batteries, uh, like this EBL here and a Maxi Pro, these, ha these are nickel metal hydride batteries. These, these nickel metal hydride batteries can only produce 1.2 volts. That's what the difference is. And if you're thinking, well, I've got this device here, this needs 1.5 volts. In fact, this one takes two, as well as the MI Pro mic, this takes two 1.5 volt batteries. So is it safe to put a 1.2 volt battery in a microphone? Yeah, it's just fine. There's absolutely no issues with it. Uh, the 1.5 volts uh, that you see on these batteries will go down to 1.2 volts, but it'll be just fine. But these are all alkaline batteries. So this microphone right here has two alkaline batteries in a brand new. and you've got full power. So, let's take a look at this other mic. And we're gonna pan down to it, there we go. All right, this other wireless mic has rechargeable batteries in it. Brand new, fully charged. But one of the bars on the power meter is, is not lit. It's the top bar showing it's full. But actually, the batteries are full. There's plenty of power, but the power meter is indicating that, that it's low voltage. The voltage is lower. As compared to this one here that has the alkaline batteries in it. So what's going on? Well, this is the difference in the chemistry. And I'm going to show this to you. So here's what's going on. This is something to consider. So if, you've, if you're using rechargeable batteries and you're thinking these batteries aren't, aren't producing any kind of a charge, well, they actually are, but let's see here. But understanding the chemistry of the battery will help you understand how the microphones use it. So first off, as I said before, 
like this microphone here, this is a Sennheiser, as well as the MI Pro mics that we're using for this example. These, the meters have all been calibrated for 1.5 volts, but the issue is that we're putting in 1.2 volt batteries. So the displays on the microphones, and this may be happening with, like with your in-ear system, it may show the batteries are low, but they're not actually. So looking at this, I uh, hope we can get this here. Now yeah, this should work. So looking at this chart, this line right here is an alkaline battery. And the line below it, this is the green, green line here, this is a nickel metal hydride battery. The alkaline batteries always start out at 1.5 volts, and, but as you use them, they start losing their voltage rather quickly and they come down through their usage and they eventually drop off. And the red line here indicates that's one volt, where really anything below one volt, a battery is considered dead. Now, the green line is the uh, nickel metal hydride batteries. They all start out about 1.2 volts, but as you notice, the nickel metal hydride batteries maintain almost a constant 1.2 volts right up until the end where they start becoming uh, used up they begin to drop off really quickly so what you see here if I can get all this here on one page so what you see here this blue line is showing you this meter right here indicating that it's full because this is this microphone here has the alkaline batteries in it so it's showing it's full and then our microphone with the rechargeable batteries in it, it's already indicating that it's losing power, but it really isn't. It's just at this point right here. So as you're using um, as you're using alkaline batteries, the meters will begin to go down one click, one click, one click to the point where it's off. That that rate of decline is what you see right here, to what it's doing. But when you're using rechargeable batteries, this battery, this indicator will probably stay this way for probably 75 to 85 percent of its whole life while it's being used in this microphone. That's that green line that you see right here. It's going to stay just like that right to the very end when it just all the power just starts to go out of it real quickly. The one thing to know about using rechargeable batteries in these microphones or your wireless unit is that if you're down to, let's say, one bar, you need to change, your, you need to change the battery. Don't wait till it go, goes out, because that one bar is probably going to be right around here somewhere when it goes out. And it, it's going to happen pretty quickly. So anyway, that's about the gist of uh, what we're talking about with batteries uh, using uh, rechargeables versus using alkaline. All right, hope this helps.